Hi, I'm Caroline, a punch needle tutor and artist. Today I'm going to show you how to punch needle. Let's get started. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Today I'm going to show you how to punch needle. Lay your fabric flat on the table and you're going to stick masking tape along each edge of the fabric. Next we're going to stretch the fabric using a gripper hoop. Unscrew the top to separate the two sections. Place your inner hoop on the table and place your fabric on top. Try to keep it central. Loosen the screw on the outer hoop and place over the top of the inner hoop. Now partly tighten the screw on top. Turn the hoop over and push down on the hoop with one hand whilst pulling the fabric through with the other. The fabric will start to get taut. Check that the fabric is tight. It is recommended that you have the fabric drum tight. When you are happy with the tension, you can tighten the screw. You're going to punch with the needle facing upwards and punch in the direction that the needle faces. Push the needle tip through one of the holes until the handle touches the fabric. Because I want my yarn tail on the other side, I need to flip my piece over and pull it through. To create your first stitch, move the needle along at least two holes. Remove your punch needle and glide two holes along. Let me show you this again. Move the needle along at least two holes. Remove your punch needle and glide two holes along. If you flip your piece over, you can see that you're starting to create these looped stitches, which will be on the front side of your punch needle piece. To finish, pinch the yarn on the looped side and snip it. Then you can pull the needle back through. This is so all the yarn tails stay on one side. For more punch needle techniques and inspiration, head over to hobbycraft.co.uk forward slash ideas.